The International Space Station, it's been a primary symbol of unity between the US, Europe, Canada, Russia, and Japan since the end of the Cold War. And that's exactly why it could be a pretty big deal that Russia's dropping out to build its own. And how did this even happen? Is it a negotiating tactic to push back on sanctions? And if not, can Russia even afford it? Let's get into it. Russia's space chief Yuri Borisov announced just this morning that Russia will be pulling out of the International Space Station in 2024 to focus on launching its own orbiting outpost. Now, the announcement occurred against a backdrop of extreme tension between Moscow and the West as the war in Ukraine continues. The space station is now one of the last standing ties between the U.S. and the Kremlin. Experts told ABC News that keeping the station up and running without Russia would be a nightmare. Former NASA astronaut Scott Kelly told ABC News that the design of the station, which spans as long as a football field, would make it pretty difficult for the remaining countries to operate without Russia. Dmitry Rogozin, the former head of Roscosmos, said that Moscow would consider negotiations about the station, but only if the U.S. lifts its sanctions against Russian space industry. Because otherwise, how could Russia afford to build something in space? Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield took to Twitter with his thoughts, tweeting to his followers, remember that Russia's best game is chess. Follow for more.